How are you both doing today? Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm so excited to talk to you both about this movie. I've been, you know, really admiring both of you as, as actors in the industry. Lily, I got to tell you, um, I love Yoga Housers. I, I know you probably don't hear that every day, but Thank I you love so much. It. That is, yeah. that's so nice to hear. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. And, and George, I don't even know where to begin. So we'll just start at your last one. We'll go 1917 because how can you not love that movie? Oh, so thank good. you very, very much. Jeez. I, I have to ask, because this is such a unique film, and I know this sounds like a very basic question to begin with, but what was your first reaction after reading the script? My first reaction after reading the script was, you know, I was I was kind of uh, really taken aback with just how uh, unique this felt. Like, I just really felt that I had never read anything like it and never, you know, come upon a, a character like this before. I, I was, I was, you know, really touched by uh, just how moving um, and how different all the characters were and, you know, all of their uh, really profound little particularities. Um, I just thought that the script was really, really beautifully written. And then when I met Natalie, the kind of, you know, creative force behind this incredible story, I, I just knew that she was going to bring it to life in a, in a really, really kind of uh, special way. And, you know, I'm, I'm always intrigued by something that I feel like I've never read before or never seen before. And, you know, a character that I feel like I've never met before. And so, uh, you know, all of those kind of, um, all of those kind of, uh, all, all of that newness, I think was really exciting to me. And, uh, you know, I was really moved by uh, their, their humanity in the end. Yeah. How about for you, George? I think for me, in terms of the script, I think the, I was really, it was the ending, actually. Uh, and we've spoken about the, the, the ending and, and the ending sort of was, well, I, it's difficult to speak about without giving it away, but the kind of, for want of a better term, the imperfection of the ending and not about the way it was written or anything, but uh, the, the kind of, the, the, the honesty and the kind of, I guess, kind of brutality in a sense of, of the ending, um, I thought was really, admirable and kind of inspiring that imperfection um so that was the biggest thing from the script and then then it was just the the, the kind of again conundrum seems like a sort of patronizing word for it but the 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 complexity of the character you know of, in a very simple thing of the very the, the purity of being a wolf in a man's body mm -hmm. and then how to express that and how to figure that out and then and then to translate that um i was just so excited at the prospect of that journey Okay, kind of along that same line, I, I'm sure everyone's been talking about like how physical of a performance this has been for both of you. So my question is more or less, how does one audition for a movie like this when it's about the physical aspect of it? Well, you know, because the physical aspect is such a kind of integral part of the story and the characters, you know, there was a lot of uh, exploration of that. I think, you know, Natalie had to feel that we were going to be, you know, I think right off the bat, I mean, like when I when I auditioned for it, like I had to send like a little thing of me doing like some cat improv, which I'm sure if I watched it back now, I'd be like, that's not right at all or something. But I think that she was, I mean, you know, if I can speak to this, like I'm sure she, you know, would, but like I... I think it was more about like seeing in somebody the 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 desire to kind of go there because you do have to really go there you know what I mean and and kind of uh throw all kind of self-consciousness I think to the to the wind and so I think she was probably looking for somebody that was willing to kind of dive in uh to something that uh that you know requires a lot of uh, a lot of kind of freedom and and uh and uh you know comfort in in trying things that you may have never tried before. I, I was I was really lucky. It was one of those kind of rare and very lucky things where I I, I sort of got Natalie offered the part just after we've we've had a, a conversation and it was as but it's kind of as Lily said, it, I think it was more about a thing of a willingness to go there and then a sort of an excitement to go there more than anything because I think none of us knew what like how to do this at this point and that was the that was the the point of kind of jumping on board is kind of going i don't know how this is going to work out or i don't know what this means and like like there's a, one of our favorite scenes in it is there's this scene where you know our characters in their animal states are kind of just interacting and it's one of those ones that the scene is a stage direction that says wolf and wildcat you know get to know each other on the rooftop mm -hmm. but what that scene became was sort of like it was something completely different to that sort of that singular stage direction. But that that said, the stage direction offered the possibility of what it ended up being. So I think it's yeah, it was more I think Natalie just wanted to see a willingness to figure all of this out. Yeah. 
Well, great. Thank you very much. Lovely answers. I appreciate both your time. Um, best of luck with this film. And I look forward to seeing what you both do next. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank Take you care. So much.